All right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Lee Max Countdown Clock Tower. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Countdown Clock Tower. I really enjoy this piece. It's absolutely stunning, and there's some cool details about it. Uh, and, and overall, I, I think this could really fit in with a lot of different style Christmas villages. Uh, you know, there's nothing like a great clock tower in a town square or something like that, right? So uh, let's get into it, though, right, with the details to start. So uh, this was released in 2018, so it's still a relatively new piece and is currently still available. And when it came out, it was about $70 new. Now, of course, depending on where you bought it, there was coupons and opportunities and things like that. For me, it was for my local Michaels and there was a, a discount option. Uh, however, unlike most houses, this house has actually came down tremendously. Uh, this one's selling for about $38, $40, somewhere right in there. I think some people have them listed for $34.99 and I'm talking about actual retailers, not resellers, but retailers. Uh, so you can still absolutely buy this piece and I don't know if coupons can still be applied on that or not. Uh, if you were lucky enough to get a 50% off from Michael's, at least here in our area, you would have bought it for, you know, somewhere in the same neighborhood of what it's going for now. Uh, but usually houses tend to kind of go up in value. Uh, now it could be because this one is still available. Maybe it wasn't the hottest seller. I don't know. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. So, um, you know, I, I definitely got one and hopefully you did too. Uh, so let me give you some dimensions. It's 10.47 inches high, it is 5.51 inches wide, and 4.80 inches in depth. So it's quite tall actually, and when you look at it, it's really well how would you say, well-rounded maybe? The height versus the width and how there, there's like horns and circles, it really fills it in. So I really think there was some thought put into this piece. So like I said, uh, there's lots to see here, so let's dive right in. Uh, we're gonna start with the kind of top end here, which would be the clock itself. Uh, unlike a lot of other pieces, there is no topper on this one. It's just kind of like a gold ball. And, uh, but hey, it's still beautiful. So the clock, as you can see, very detailed, very easy to read. And as you keep going down, you're gonna see the center of what it's all based around, the countdown. Now what's cool about this countdown is you can actually move the numbers. It's manual. So let me give you a demonstration of that now. Okay, so hopefully you got to see that. I'm doing this one-handed with the camera here. So, uh, but anyway, really, really cool. However, you're probably wondering why it's not on. So as you probably figured out by now, I didn't mention a power supply for this house like I normally do in the beginning of these videos. And the reason is, and this was probably the only downfall with this piece and could be a lot to do with why Maybe it didn't sell as well. I'm not saying it didn't. I'm just saying it's not overly popular. Uh, you don't see a lot of people talking about this piece or you know, really even doing reviews on it, really. So um, it, it doesn't light up. It doesn't turn on. There's no soundtrack and absolutely no power. And to top it off, there's no hole in the back for even a classic light. Now, I don't know what it would light up, but you know, maybe they could have you know, put something in that would have illuminated with a classic bulb. So that's really the biggest downfall to this one. It's strictly that it doesn't power on. There's no lights, no soundtrack. Um, had it had that though with this design, I think this would have been really, really highly collectible just because there's so much detail. Like they really went all the way with thinking of all the little things to put on it from the horns, which we'll take a look at in a second, to the signs. I mean, it, it really, there's a lot to see here, but it doesn't light up. I still got it because I thought there would be other ways you could light it up. You know, Lamax does sell accessory lights and things like that, and so do other brands. And, you know, for me, I like to light up my villages anyway with a lighting LED structure stuff on top, which maybe we'll get into one day on another video. Um, but I do like to do a lot of overhead lighting. I'm real meticulous that way. Um, I'm really big into colors and lights and stuff like that. So, but anyways, it's still absolutely stunning. So let's continue on. So obviously it says uh, Days Tell Christmas 
And then you have what I believe is like that New York um, news thing. I forgot what it's called, but anyway, uh, maybe this is like a New York themed uh, clock tower. I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, then that brings us down to the sign, the countdown tower clock and some more signs over here. Let me see if I can bring you in here, North Pole. And it's just, you know, there's just so much detail here. I mean, look at the sleigh. I mean, right down to the little things in the sleigh. Let me bring you in. The detail on the side of the sleigh. I mean, it's really a phenomenal piece. Look at those horns. I mean, it, it, it's very like elfish, you know? Like it reminds me of like elves would be in there working or, you know, manning the tower, whatever it would be. I mean, there's just some really cool things and the colors are really vibrant. Like really, it's not neon, but they really pop as if they were. Um, so I really like the contrast between the colors. Of course, you have the snow on the ground, an elf right there at the doorway. There is just a lot of really, really cool detail here. So could you put this in the center of one of your villages? Absolutely. Um, would you need to add some lights or something to it? Yeah, I think so, because it would probably disappear pretty easily. Maybe that's partly why the colors are so bright to help that, uh, you know, from happening. But I do still think you would need to add some kind of lights to it. Uh, I will give you a full go around on the house here in a second. I'll show some scenes so you can see the full back and everything in the sides. But overall, it's just it's fascinating. It's really a beautiful piece. And if you're trying to find a piece that's inexpensive, that would be great for, you know, getting that real center town square thing going. Yeah, for the 40 bucks, it's worth it. Was it worth the 70 bucks? Mm, I don't know about all that, but is it worth the 40? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, you get some really good height. It's they didn't go cheap on the design as far as the you know, decor and the little intricate details, even from the little snow tops, you know, this sprinkled a little snow up there. I mean, it's very, very cool. It's almost cartoonish in a, in a good way. Uh, I really like it, you know, so is it New York themed? I think so, but I'm not from New York and have never been. So if you know if it is, I'm assuming it is because it says New York. Uh, but let me know in the comments below. Do you think this was based on something out of New York? Maybe it was. I, I don't know. Like I said, I've never been there. I'm just reviewing the, the tower itself. So I absolutely love it. For the money that it's going for today, it's absolutely worth it. So feel free to get one, add it into your village. And if you have one, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Is it okay that it doesn't turn on or power up? You know, would you have wished that it did? You know, I, I mean, think about if it had like a really cool Christmas soundtrack on it or, you know, just something like that. I just, gosh, there was so much potential here. But uh, again, as far as the tower itself, it's stunning. I love it. You know, I, I've been standing by Lamax forever since I was in diapers. So, uh, you know, but I'm always honest with you guys too. So that's my only gripe with it is that it doesn't do anything. Um, and as far as the countdown, you'd literally have to manually every day go in and set it. And most people probably aren't going to do that. Uh, so it would have been cool if it did it automatically or something like that. I mean, just, just anything, but at the end of the day, it's stunning. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. I thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.